cool start to the morning, but it doesn't feel too bad. It's not like it's cold. It's just it's kind of comfortable. We've got that little, you know, spring chill that we'll see yeah. for a couple hours and then we're going to start to rapidly warm things up today. So if it's a little too cool for you, give it till 9, 10 o'clock and those temperatures are going to come right back up. Mm. In fact, many of us heading for not only 80s, but even some mid 80s in the forecast later on this afternoon. So largely right now, 50s and 60s. We're still really comfortable out there. That's not going to change and our numbers aren't going to change much from where we're sitting right now. They're really not going to drop much from here as those dew points have come up a little bit. Still clear though on Storm Tracker 10. No issues with anything going on all across the area. Things are nice and quiet. And again, they are going to stay that way as we move you through the rest of the day and into the afternoon as well. Wind still very light. That's going to mean a more settled pattern out on the water. It also means we have more room to grow in terms of getting those temperatures really ramped up as we look ahead to the afternoon and clear skies. Once again, as we look out over Tampa Bay, we are seeing a beautiful start to the day and not really any problems with visibility out there. So we just keep right on winning this one. Temperatures starting off in the low 60s for the Bay Area. So putting the kids on the bus to school is going to be a pretty easy feat. They won't need the heavy coats, but a light jacket, sweater, something like that. Just remind them to bring it home because those tend to get left behind when temperatures start climbing into the 80s after starting off in the 60s. I know I did back in the day. So 80 coming up for Tampa. Throughout the Tampa Bay area, we're largely going to stay right around that number until you get east of I-75, and then those numbers start to climb. And right along and east of I-75, we could actually see some mid-80s back in the mix. Wouldn't be surprised to see some 84s and some 85s out there later on today. Watch how rapidly those temperatures begin to climb. We'll already see temperatures in the 70s by your lunch hour. In fact, mid-70s even by that time. A little bit of cloud cover comes in today. These are all high thin clouds. They don't bring rain back into the mix, and they're really not going to have any significant impacts on keeping those temperatures at bay either. So all in all, a nice warm day with not a bad setup for the water. One to two foot seas, a light chop on the bay. Northwest winds early on becoming more westerly as we move into the afternoon. Two to at its peak, maybe 10 knots there offshore on the lighter side, definitely throughout the course of the day today. So looking ahead to our weekend, which is going to be a beautiful weekend. Picture perfect beach weather. Temperatures getting on up there in the afternoon. We'll top out in the mid 80s for both Saturday and Sunday, right around 84. And notice that this little wiggle downward in our numbers for Thursday, that's associated with a weak frontal boundary. It only brings about a 20% chance of a couple of stray showers. This is not going to be a rainmaker for most of us. And then those numbers come down overnight, but come right back up as we head toward the afternoon. Times out well for our beautiful weekend forecast, Allison. Yeah, it looks really